Happy 2022 and welcome to our new Genius XR Partner Monthly Digest, where we'll be updating you on the latest news in emerging technologies, the metaverse, and everything in between. My name is Mara and at Genius Ventures Inc., we're on a mission to help expand the XR ecosystem by providing the necessary knowledge, resources, and tools that empowers each and every one of our partners. Today, we're gonna to summarize some of the biggest highlights from January across the entire XR spectrum, from AR to VR to 5G, the metaverse, and even NFTs. The race to mass adoption consumer AR glasses is being led by big tech brands Meta, Snap, and Apple, as well as Nreal who just released their first consumer AR glasses in the US. But now Microsoft and apparently even Google have joined the AR headset marathon, and they're not very far behind. This is especially true since these two key players are not new to augmented reality headsets. Rumor has it that Google's been working on an AR headset internally known as Project Iris that is said to be expected in 2024. Similar to forthcoming headsets from Meta and Apple, Google's headset will use outward-facing cameras to blend computer graphics with the live video feed of the real world. The result is a more immersive, mixed reality experience than existing air glasses from the likes of Snap and Magic Leap. Apparently, these glasses are said to resemble something like ski goggles and don't require a tethered connection to an external power source. Qualcomm and Microsoft announced their partnership at this year's CES pointing towards new custom chips for AR glasses. Microsoft's HoloLens already uses Qualcomm chips, but according to the press release, the collaboration will involve developing custom AR chips to enable a new wave of power-efficient, lightweight AR glasses to deliver rich and immersive experiences, and plans to integrate software like Microsoft Mesh and Snapdragon Spaces XR developer platform. Speaking of mixed reality, Bloomberg recently announced that we might have to wait just a little bit longer for Apple's highly anticipated VR AR headset. According to the news source, Apple's long-awaited headset could be delayed until 2023 now due to a combination of technical issues cited by people familiar with the situation. MetaQuest's latest update version 37 introduces new improvements to both of the company's standalone VR headsets. The update includes support for new keyboards such as the Apple Magic Keyboard, improved Explorer feed, hand tracking, as well as link sharing between your Android phone and VR headset. Unfortunately, the link sharing option isn't available for iOS just yet, but the company says to expect it in the near future. The HTC Vive Wrist Tracker is a new accessory for HTC's Vive Focus 3 virtual reality headset. The Wrist Tracker helps to track real-world movements and objects for use in VR environments. The device accurately captures data from the fingertips to the elbow, and even when the headset can't see the wrist tracker or the hands occluding an object. The smartwatch-like device will better track hands and objects when wearing a VR headset. And what makes this wrist tracker even cooler is that you can attach it to objects to enhance the gaming experience or for training purposes. When purchasing a designer bag, Sometimes it's hard to tell what's real and what's fake. This is why luxury brands Louis Vuitton, Prada, and Cartier have joined forces to start tracking provenance using blockchain technology. Announced back in April 2021, the blockchain just went live on January 13th with founding members LVMH, Prada Group, Cartier, Richie Mont, and O2B Group working together in a private, permission-based blockchain platform which offers both upstream and downstream traceability in the supply chain. Google is also showing interest in Web3. Bloomberg reported earlier this month that Google is creating a group focusing on the blockchain and other next-gen distributed computing and data storage technologies. Google has apparently appointed Shiva Kumar Venkataraman to lead the new group that will be linked to Google Labs, which is the company's virtual and augmented reality division. Shiva Kumar is a veteran of the company who spent nearly two decades working on its core search ad business. Microsoft's plan to acquire Activision Blizzard for $68.7 billion isn't just a weapon in their battle for video game domination. It's 
also a metaverse play. If you haven't heard of the metaverse yet, it's kind of a big deal, with everyone from the likes of Disney to Walmart looking to carve out their own niche in the digital space, which promises to host a virtual worlds where people can work, play, and explore. It seems that gaming appears to be a particularly large portion of Microsoft's metaverse plans. In a press release on Tuesday, the company stated that by buying the Call of Duty and Warcraft Maker, will provide building blocks for the metaverse. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella was also quoted saying that gaming will play a key role in the development of metaverse platforms. Speaking of the metaverse, big box retailer Walmart is diving right into virtual reality and launching their very own Walmart cryptocurrency token and NFT. The retailer filed about seven applications and trademarks with the US Patents Office. The company plans to sell virtual goods ranging in everything from electronics to home decorations, children's toys to physical fitness training services, as well as health and nutrition classes in both augmented and virtual reality. Walmart is not the first merchandiser to do this. It's becoming a gold rush for retailers and apparel makers as they begin to digitally transform and adapt to the metaverse in order to not be left behind. Coinbase wants to simplify the complex onboarding experience of purchasing your first NFT in order to allow more people to join the NFT community. That's why Coinbase has partnered with MasterCard to allow credit card payments on its forthcoming NFT marketplace. This means that you'll be able to simply purchase an NFT using fiat currency just by using your MasterCard credit or debit card, all without the complexity and hassle of having to purchase cryptocurrency first. At first, OpenSea, Rarible, and similar marketplaces have been hosting NFT trades and sales with almost no one able to touch their monthly volume. This month, a new report by the Financial Times suggests that Meta is working on a new NFT project which will allow its users to create and sell NFTs. According to several people familiar with the matter, Facebook and Instagram are working on a new feature which will allow you to display an NFT on your social media profile, as well as they're working on a prototype that will allow its users to create and mint collectible tokens on the platform. Earlier this month at CES 2022, Qualcomm's VP of Economic Strategy, Kirti Gupta, claimed that the green outlook for 5G greatly surpasses that of previous generations of cellular technology. Further, she argued that the transformative promise of 5G, and because it is designed to connect everything everywhere, it is paramount that it enables a sustainable future. I see 5G's role as pervasive in society, she said, adding that the technology will transform nearly every industry to enhance and accelerate new technologies. In doing so, she argued, 5G is the fundamental infrastructure driving the future connected world. All of the news we covered in today's monthly digest is also featured in our monthly newsletter, along with featured resources and AR experience QR codes. So if you like this video and you want to join our partner network, then make sure to subscribe via the link in the description. Thanks for watching our Genius XR Partner Monthly Digest, and I look forward to seeing you again.